Hey everyone, Miss Jack here, and today we're going to be talking about space. So get out your notebooks if you want to follow along with me or a sheet of paper, and let's take some notes. So our title of our page is going to be Universe. Okay, so what is the universe exactly? Well, that's everything. The universe is everything that exists in space. Okay, so the universe encompasses everything, but if we zoom in just a little bit, we're going to look at galaxies. Now, what is galaxies exactly? Okay, so galaxies, what do you think it is? Well, it's a system of, a system of, um, let's see, moons, planets, okay. stars, gas, and dust, all held together. What holds things together? What keeps us holding us on the earth? Held together by gravity. Okay, so now we have our galaxies. Now, some of you may already know this, but there's three main types of galaxies. Can you guess what they are? Well, our first galaxy type is going to be a spiral. So, just like it says, we're going to draw a dot and a spiral moving around like this. Now, our galaxy is actually a spiral. We call it the Milky Way. Okay, now if we looked at the galaxy, if this was our whole galaxy, we would be somewhere on the arm about here. So you you know those maps that say you are here? That's about where we would be, right here. Okay, now our next type of galaxy is elliptical. So elliptical is kind of how it sounds. It's just like uh, kind of an oval shaped. And our last type is irregular now that is exactly how it sounds so irregular is just kind of like a blob irregular there's no defined shape it's just kind of there okay so now if you're following along with me with your notes this should take up about half the page and now you can either flip to the other side or the back of the page or the bottom half if you still have some room so now we're going to talk about all of the objects in space Okay, so, and this is going to be from largest to smallest. So we're talking about the largest, the very biggest. We would first say we have the, let's see, what color do I want to use? Okay, largest, we're going to have the universe. And then next we're going to have the galaxies. And then next we have a nebula. What in the world is a nebula? Well, this is going to be like our gas, dust, that's what it's made of. And this is actually the birthplace. Birthplace of what? of stars. This is where stars are made. So all stars start as a nebula. Can you say that word with me? Nebula. It's kind of fun to say. Okay, nebula. Next we're going to have a solar system like ours. 
Then we have a star. So if we think about our star, it's going to be like the sun, but there's much, much bigger stars. Then we have planets. And moons. So now we can kind of picture and visualize. We have a universe, then we have galaxies, then we have nebulas, which are the birthplace of stars. So then that's how the stars get made. And then we tip that typically forms a solar system around the star. So all the planets in, and the star. Then we have our star, which our star is going to be the sun. And um, then the planets and then the moons. So think about our moon as well. So something else that is in the space, objects in space, we are going to write a few more. And I'm going to just list them here. You probably have room at the bottom of this or maybe to the side. So just write it below or next to it. And we also have comets, asteroids, and meteors. Now, how do I know the difference between all of those? Well, comets are typically, they're made of ice and they have a fan-shaped toe. What does that mean? Well, if this was a comet, it would look like a fan. So whenever it's, um, you see it, it's, you can see the tail behind it. Okay, now we have our asteroids. These are made of typically rock and metal. And these are actually going to be pretty big. And our meteors, still have some room. Our meteors are also made of rock and metal. But these are going to be smaller. And our meteors are actually going to be the shooting stars that you see. All right, so now we know all about the universe. So the biggest from the very largest, we're going to have the universe. That's everything that exists. Zoom in a little bit. Then we have three types of galaxies. Which one is ours? The spiral. And then we have elliptical galaxy and irregular. Remember, irregular, there's no shape. And those are actually pretty uncommon. Those are pretty rare. And then we have all of the objects in space. We talked about universe, galaxies, and then our nebula, which is the birthplace of stars, solar system, think about our solar system, zoom in a little more, we have our star, our, which is our sun, and then think about the planets we have around our solar system, and then the moons, think about the moon that we can see around the earth. And when you think about these, comets, asteroids, and meteors. Comets are made of ice, they have the fan-shaped tail. Asteroids and meteors, rock and metal. Asteroids are the big ones, meteors small, and they are the shooting stars that you see. You may have seen one before um, at night in the sky. Well, that's all I have for you today, and that's all about the universe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.